But Taryn, obviously, I figured I should make a quick update on where I am right now with my Bell's palsy. Mom keeps kind of bugging me to do one, so um, here it is. <laughs> this is my three-week anniversary date of Bell's palsy, I guess. It's Wednesday, the 28th of May. Um, so it would have been three weeks ago today, not far from this time, actually, that I was going to the hospital and was diagnosed. Um, so, of course, I did the seven-day steroid starting, to, I guess, that same day. The day I went to the hospital, I did start it. That didn't really do anything. You guys know that I ended up back at the hospital with a weird pain in my knee, which ended up hopefully being nothing. They didn't see anything. But they were supposed to set me up with a neurologist, which they never did. I called back to the emergency room just to set it up and then they were like oh we have to investigate this and blah 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 so they still I still haven't heard back from them so no neurology appointment in my future apparently um but a friend of mine was talking about b12 and how it had helped somebody that he knew with their Bell's palsy uh, they actually got the b12 shot which my mom gets because she's b12 deficient um so I thought well if I can't get the shot, maybe I'll just try to take some B12 pills. So I picked up good old Life Brand B12 with the 1200 milligrams because if I'm deficient, I probably need a lot. But the pharmacist said no, um, it's not an issue. The more that you take, it's just going to, your body will use what it needs and then it'll just basically pee out the rest. So it's a nice vision for you. Uh, anyway, so I started taking the B12 maybe Friday, Thursday or Friday. And after that, I was able to kind of move this eyebrow a little bit. Like, literally that night, we had some people over, and it must have been Friday, yep. Had people over, and then within the next few hours, by the time I went to bed, I was like, oh my god, Scott, look, I can move my eyebrow a little bit. So, the little things in life that really make me happy now. Um, I'm going to just move these up so you guys can kind of see a little better here. Um, so this is the affected side. When I smile, I don't know, I think it's better, but it's still half smile. Um, when I close my eyes, my eyes are watering so bad right now. Um, this is me closing my eyes. I don't know if that's closed quite, I obviously can't see. But it's so much better than it was. Um, my blinking. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> Um, it's getting there. This eye still waters a lot, so I tend to like take a little piece of Kleenex and just gonna dab it out at work. Cause I'm <laughs> the other day I was helping a customer in cosmetics, and I was just like tears running down my face as I was trying to be like really nonchalant about it and like helping her. But um, yeah, it wasn't very good. <laughs> so that's that. Um, I still when I like purse my lips or whatever, I still only like half sided. Nothing moves over there, but. I don't know. I've gotten used to drinking out of a cup. I actually just chugged a glass of water, so that was pretty impressive. I was pretty pretty proud of myself there. Um, I don't know. Other than that, not much, not much change. I I had a lot of pain, like this whole week. It can't, I didn't really have much happening today or yesterday, but probably started like I was in a lot of pain Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Oh, a cat just jumped up here. Um, so it's like right right in here behind my ear and it just kind of shoots and it like it was a dull pain all the time and then all of a sudden it would just go and I would just it was I don't know I've never had a migraine before but it was just the worst pain just in one spot it was awful um but I just was taking oh look at all my pills right next to me my extra strength life brand ibuprofen so that was helping. Um, I took some codeine the other night too. I think aspirin with codeine from the pharmacy, and it definitely helped because it's hard to sleep when you have this like throbbing pain in your ear. Um, also picked myself up some multivitamins just so you get some stuff into my body. It's still like it can still be kind of hard to eat. Uh, not that I've had an issue. I was off work for almost two weeks, and I definitely ate because what else is there to do? Um, but I still get some dribbles down my mouth. And we ate corn on the cob the other day and I had butter all over my face. <laughs> but apparently lots of people do that anyway, so maybe I'm just fitting in with the norm. Um, anyway, not much else to say, I guess. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. 
and I'll hopefully post a video once I see some more change. I mean, it seems silly to post one every day or every week if there's not a lot of change, but as I see some major changes, um, I'll definitely let you guys know. Great. Thanks for watching.